Hey, it's Charlie with Seismic Audio here at the Seismic Audio Studios here in Memphis, Tennessee. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit, a uh, little bit about uh, how to daisy chain speakers. A uh, simple, a simple hookup method that we get a lot of emails about. Um, uh, how, how to hook speakers together, called daisy chaining. I'll show you a closer look at the back of the amp. All right. For starters, we have our powered mixer here. We're just using a little, uh, little Behringer PMP2000 uh, powered mixer, and we've got uh, one of our. Dual 15s, a 155.2, and our 15 SS, a little 15-inch sub, little compact system. Now, what we do here on the back, you see on the Euro Power, you have three outputs. You have the right, left, and a bridge mode. Right here, we're going to use the right main mono output just for demonstration purposes. It would work with the with the left as well. You just speak on uh, connector right there, the twist lock. On the other end, it, we have a quarter inch on the cable here. Right here, we're just going to go directly into the input. All right, here we go. We take our other quarter inch, go directly in, and there's no input, no output. It doesn't matter which one you plug into. Uh, they're, they're wired together, so it doesn't matter. Then on the other end, we have our twist lock connection. And we'll go down here to our 15 sub. Plug it in just like that and you're ready to go. You can use, you could use on, on this particular model, you could use a speak on input or the quarter inch. It doesn't matter. Either way. And that's how you daisy chain speakers together. Well that's it. It's really simple as far as uh, how you hook it up. Now what you do have to be careful about, make sure that your amp is capable of handling the ohm load that you're going to put on it by daisy chaining. If you take two 8 ohm speakers, two 8 ohm speaker cabinets, and parallel them, daisy chain them, it's going to cut that ohm load in half to make it a 4 ohm load. If you take two 4 ohm speakers and wire them together, daisy chain them, that drops it to 2 ohm. So it, uh, it'll always work daisy chaining, but what is important is, is your amplifier or your powered mixer um, is it capable of handling the ohm load? So be sure to check with the uh, with the specs on your uh, whatever the manufacturer specs are on your equipment to make sure uh, what ohm load they'll handle. Because if you if you drop below that uh, recommended ohm load, you could cause uh, uh, damage to your amplifier, your mixer, or or possibly your speakers. So uh, check with your manufacturer specs on your on your products to see uh, see what they'll handle. But uh, as far as daisy chaining goes, it's simple. And uh, that's about it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Check us out at SeismicAudioSpeakers.com. If you've got any questions, call us at 187-SEISMIC3. See you.